Good morning. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020, and it's about uh, 1230 uh, here in uh, PM here in Pasadena, California. And I want to give you an update um, after the news has really accelerated on uh, the coronavirus and what that means. Um, you know, I, I understand what everybody's going through right now. Um, a lot of uncertainty out there. Uh, don't think most of us have been through anything quite like this before. On the health side of things, um, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I think pretty simply, you know, keep your keep your hands clean and keep them away from your face is key. Um, you know, stay out of unnecessary public gatherings and places like that. It's, it's really kind of common sense um, stuff. So what does it mean for us? Because, you know, that's what everybody wants to know. I've, I've reported out some of that stuff, but I think it's important to make a video here. I just got off a call, a video call, which is now going to be every week with the with the Hero Club group. Um, you know, every business is experiencing some kind of disruption here. Um, really some very large entities that their CEOs are, are members of, of this group. So Jeff felt it was appropriate. Jeff and Tresha felt it was appropriate to have uh, weekly conference calls. So we're, what we're going to be doing is sharing resources and um, experiences and, and what everybody is doing to, to get through this, um, which is extremely valuable uh, for us and for everybody, <laughs> you know, to share these ideas, especially in these crisis moments. I mean, this is when leadership really counts. Uh, it's not for the good times. It's when, when things get tough. So um, this is a really, really good thing. So, of course, I'm going to be participating in that. Um, what is going to come out of that? I was originally going to share all of this uh, publicly, but uh, Jeff on this call asked us to keep this private. Um, you know, the, this is a re, this is a think tank basically. So, uh, and it's a benefit that you know people pay for. Uh, so we we don't need to be publishing this, and and I get that. But with that being said, I'm going to digest the information that is that comes out. Um, each Friday call, you know, the calls will be in the morning on Fridays, and then I'll report out the results. Um, you know, on our weekend update, I will report out the the discussion summaries from these Friday Hero Club conferences to the people who participate in the um, or have participated in the Sports Shares program or any program that connects to our funding. It feels fair to me that I convey what will be useful information on, on, on a local, state, and national level, depend, doesn't matter where you live, on uh, things that will benefit you if you're an individual, things that will benefit you if you're in a, in a company, if you run a company. So uh, that, that extra bit of help feels appropriate because uh, those that keep us going, you know, it's one hand to turn, you know, turns to the other. Uh, so I will digest that information and provide it in, in the separate update that goes out to the program members. Uh, so that should help you along in your business uh, and personal dealings and getting through this. So the word on the street that I trust on this, the inside minimum number is 60 days. Um, if you look at the Treasury Department calculations for these stimulus payments, they're based on 60 days. Uh, I, Sports World is not going to restart in any meaningful way in 60 days. Um, it's a 60-day period we're going to have to get through here. Um, now, in our case, uh, it's, it's an opportunity the likes of which I could not have imagined. And this is not making it up or trying to make something good out of something bad. We were already on a cost uh, containment structure you know going down from from the summertime and before all this happened so we've been cost cutting and cost cutting and, and really getting to the core of what it's going to take to make this business work and it figured out that it was one thing and that one thing is order number one that we can publicize and it doesn't matter whether that order comes from a south african soccer team or if it comes from the Los Angeles Dodgers. It doesn't matter as long as we can publicize it um, and we have all the tools to do that, then that especially now in this environment is going to make news. Um, 
I will get the support for us that we need from the press. We have plenty of contacts. I have contacts within Hero Club that will help with the PR. Um, we just need to fill the order. Now, um, it went from being an accessory item, fanciful thing, uh, to a need. And if anybody's been tracking for a while, conference calls and communications, I've been very clear in saying, needs get done. We just became a need. Why? Why? <laughs> Well, I know from this prospecting tool that I'm also a Hero Club benefit that is going back into the LinkedIn database. I'm getting between, on average, I'm getting a 40% acceptance rate to an 80% acceptance rate on my marketing efforts into that, which is about twice, 40% is about twice the nominal rate. I was working on this before the coronavirus crash happened because I realized that we're not going to get an order if we don't go out and look for them. I mean, it, it's common sense. Okay. We can't expect Bernie to walk up to the door or somebody to ring the doorbell and it just isn't going to work. So I knew we needed something and that uh, tool was just fell out of the sky, literally um, into my hands and I, you know, to prospect LinkedIn. Well, the LinkedIn, my LinkedIn network is now, it's now greater than a thousand members. It's about 700 before I started this. And about half of those or more uh, I've met in person through various Hero Club events. So what happens, what, so what ends up happening is I'm putting together this tool to go out and actively look for lead prospects, which now include esports because Alper's fine with that. Um, and you know, the tool comes into, I learn how to use it, turn it on, and then the coronavirus news hits. And I'm now basically prospecting into a market that's dying in a lot of cases. Because I can see now from the connections, because each time these people connect, I now see their news feed, just like Facebook. And I see the things they're commenting on and all that. And it's just carnage. I mean, it's, you know, existential threats in sports from front to back. Not just the small guys like an African soccer team, but like big ones that don't know how to get through this because they see between 60 days to a year of shutdown, which is just deadly. So I'm talking to an audience that's very interested in hearing what I have to say. And I, I'm not even, I'm just opening the communication and I'm already getting active live conversations going. Uh, I've got about 25 or 30 of those people that have reached out to me before I've even gone back to them to get, give them more de details. There are almost 300, I think it's 200 and, um, give me a moment here. I can look it up live. It's uh, 264 leads as of right now. So, and a, and a total network. Now it's going to keep adding these at about a rate of about 35 to 40 a day. My network's going to keep growing at about 30 to 5 to 40 a day. And it's at 1,007 right now. Included in that are uh, are are Bill Daly, who's the um, this is one of them I saw from a couple days ago, who's the vice chair of the NHL, is in that list now. And I met Bill. I met Bill in person a couple times, uh, at least a couple times, several times, uh, more than ten years ago because of Bernie. So uh, you know, on his invite. So that's what's going on. So so essentially, you know, I can't take credit for. For all of this stuff, it, it just kind of putting all these tools together, all of a sudden I have the tool and the message in my hand. So what's the next step? Next step is to finish the explainer video. So, you know, the explainer video needs, needs to give the message in a very concise format and then ask for the order. And the order is to go to a sign-up form, a lead generation form, which then we will use to vet out candidates for fundraisers. So... You're not going to get your, your sports money from gambling because there's no games. <laughs> no games means no gambling. Vegas is essentially shut down, and it's only going to be more shut down as the time goes on. You'll see. Um, so you're not gambling on games because no games is played. So that's off the table. So sports investing is all there is. Uh, that's all there is. <laughs> Talk about a way to, to, to clear the field so you can get your message out. So that's what we need to do. So... Um, people that support that effort, um, we've got our cost structure very, very low. And those of you who are part of the programs know what the numbers are because I report them to you. Um, we just need to get farm, uh, keep the farm running every day. I check it vigilantly every day. 
um, finish up the video. My deadline for that is now uh, March 31st. Then go back to these people who are going to get only hungrier as time goes on and present them with what we have. And then get the first order. Uh, get that order out into the public domain through PR. And believe me, in the environment we're in, because again, I see the conversations they're having. <laughs> these sports people are having commissioners, owners, affiliated businesses. Um, they're going to hear us and we're going to get the first order because somebody needs it. <laughs> Not somebody, lots of somebody's need it. And it's just a matter of time before they, 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 they agree to do it. And we can afford to incentivize um, because we just need the story. That's really what we need. And the media really wants good stories. They're having a really hard time finding, believe it or not, they would love to have a good story to report on if they can find one. There's just not a lot of good stories to find right now. We can be that story. We will be that story. So please, uh, you know, it's not going to take much, believe me. Um, I've even managed to cut all of my personal costs in half. Um, in half, okay, 50%. I don't do anything, guys. All I do is study this. Research, uh, plan, hold calls, contact people, sleep, get up, do it again, get up, do it again, get up, do it again, ride my bicycle, go to the gym, get up, do it again, get up. That's it. Uh, go to the library, um, look for the answers. Uh, it's a lot like it was. I mean, it's never really changed for me, but it's a lot like it was in the, in the quiet period of 2008 through 2013. Um, I was doing the same thing. That's why we, ex you know, that's why we lasted the five years is I, nothing was left of my life, but just the basic, basic basics and focusing all of my attention on, on getting us uh, to survive. So I've been trained. Uh, I had five years of training for this. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm, I'm battle hardened for cutting everything to the absolute bone when that's what it takes. So just uh, keep me fed and keep the lights on and keep the basic, uh, keep the basic, um, company data feeds and, and expenses, and we are accumulating some legal stuff compared to patents and trademarks we're going to have to address pretty soon. But um, but that's it. Um, other than that, uh, the, the stage has been set. And as far as pitching sports investing, um, they, they're going to need it to survive now. Uh, it's no longer an accessory item. Trying to sell gambling is going to sound like utter foolishness. You're going to see collapses in the gambling space. You're going to see collapses in the crypto space. You're going to see a lot of collapses in the broader economy. Um, we're we're set to handle a lot. Uh, we can take a lot of of cost cutting. Um, in fact, we're we're there. So it's it's really just you know get the message out to the hungry marketplace and. I, I see the LinkedIn tool. Um, also, I, I can, of course, reach out to reporters with this, uh, reporters of our LinkedIn members, of course, um, when it's time to get the story out. But that's not yet. Uh, the job now is to get the ask out and get get uh, agreements. I would I need multiple. I'm no longer going to trust one. Uh, I want to get a deal and a backup deal and a backup deal and a backup deal. And then we publicize. And then I can remarket back into that LinkedIn database to get more publicity around it because it's going to be a good story. So what I'm saying is, is the moment that we've been waiting for about pitching the news, think about the concept of the new sports economy. Does that make sense now? I think it makes more sense now than it ever did because it was kind of, what does that mean? What does that mean? And people tried to hijack it for gambling. That's all not going to work. Are you really going to sell me gambling and the future? People are not going to have the money to gamble, gamble, first of all, second of all, they, it's a vice activity and everybody knows that you can't sell a vice in a crash. You can't sell a vice like this in a crash. It isn't going to work. You, you can sell it offshore. Sure. But on a main stage, you're not going to sell this. People know they have to be more uh, vigilant. They have to be more responsible and they're just not, they're, they're not, it's, you're not going to sell that in state houses. You're in, you're not going to sell that on the federal government level. You're going to try to convince the feds that the solution to this economic problem is gambling. I mean, any politician that puts that forward is going to be voted out in the next election or he's going to be recalled. So forget that. That's all nonsense. People know they have to get down, buckle down. They have to be smart with their money, not be wasteful, be more vigilant, be clean. Okay whole new meaning of the word clean is going to come out of this. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. 
Uh, so anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to give you more detail. I have a lot of pages of specific notes. I didn't think that would be appropriate to, for this video. This is kind of a general update. I'll have more specifics this weekend on the weekend update. Um, conference calls for us will likely be weekly at this point, as I see Hero Club's doing these Friday calls. So ours are usually Monday to Wednesday. Hero Club will be on Friday, then the weekend report. So you're going to get two reports a week from us um, and and as things move on. And I'm, I, folks, please believe me, I'm very, very encouraged. I'm not frightened at all by this situation. I'm extremely encouraged by what I see here and what it means for uh, us getting the word out um, for all sports market and the new sports economy um, once this crisis is behind us. It, 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 those words make, the new sports economy makes total sense now. It's, it, it's a package of words that, that will sell in this environment for sure. So thank you for your time. Stay safe. And I'll have more to report this coming weekend, Saturday or Sunday, probably Sunday at this point. Bye now.